warrior. I am calling this video for, for the 4th. As you might guess, this is the 4th of July. I don't know when you'll be viewing this, but I'm doing it on the 4th of July. Four for the 4th. First, I want to speak about our great country. What, just some observations that uh, I am based in New York City, as most of you know. And friends and family members from across the country have been reaching out today. I've been reaching out to them. And I'm happy to report I am hearing about uh, when I say, what are you doing? Or they let me know. People are going on picnics. People are going to the beach, the lake. People are taking out boats. People are having backyard barbecues. People are just being together. People are telling me, this is earlier in the day, that uh, they're going to their town fireworks. So it makes me so happy because it is something we push for at the Warriors. Let's get back to basics, being together with family and friends, celebrating, getting out with nature, uh, putting the devices down, and just getting back to, again, just being with each other, especially our kids. We have to really keep an eye on the kids and we have to um, talk to them open and honestly. Seems like I have a little fan blowing on me here, so I'm going to turn that a little bit. Um, that's the first thing. So I'm happy to report very American. I think everybody knows about the 4th of July, right? You know, here in New York, we focus on the Coney Island hot dog contest, but Independence Day, uh, federal holiday, commemorates the ratification of the Declaration of Independence by the Second Continental Congress on July 4th, 1776, establishing the United States of America. I think we all know basically what this day is about, but let us not forget, I am here in New York City. So now let me report, as I'm happy to report around the country, I'm getting great reports of business as usual, lots of parades, lots of American flags, lots of just getting together. New York City. I love New York. I'm not leaving New York. If not New York, then where? We are a leader in our great country. I am disappointed to share with you, though, that um, a couple of observations. You know, up until I started noticing it really, this fan oscillates. So it's, excuse me. Um, you would see storefronts, whether it was a supermarket, a local deli, uh, clothing shops, all the shops, restaurants. You would see commemoration of 4th of July. I am noticing this year nothing. Nothing, including my local CVS that I'm just going to name it and call it out. That um, Now, in your CVS or Walgreens or wherever you shop across uh, our great country, usually... Up until now, they always had a table filled with balloons and, and stuff for the kids and red, white, and blue and paper goods and little doodads and decorations. And this year in my CVS, nothing. Nothing. And also their windows, they would line um, just on the bottom of them. You know, they'd put a couple of different plants with flags and balloons on them. Nothing. So that is disappointing. Nothing as well in in windows that I am seeing in supermarkets. Uh, so we get an F. We get an F for the 4th of July decorations. So that's an observation. But uh, that's okay because I am wearing my 4th of July gear today reminding everybody about our great country. So that's an observation. The other thing, my third observation on this 4th of July, our Independence Day. I like to say, instead of Happy 4th of July, that generic, I know everybody says it, including me, uh, at the Warriors Survivors. I have had survivors, this is so important to me, reach out to me. I can almost cry when I'm telling you this. Uh, reaching out to me and saying thank you. Thank you for helping me gain my freedom. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for giving me attention. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for interviewing me. Thank you for sharing my information. Because a lot of these people have, um, women in particular, I'm talking about young women, have, have started organizations or writing books or working as survivor leaders. 
this is the most important thing to me that I'm having many, many of these women reach out to me. I, and again, I, I could just cry. That is the most important thing. Which brings me to my fourth observation. Are we really free? We have so much going on in our country right now. Are our children free? They are bound by the internet. We have addictions, well proven. Everything we say at the Warriors, let me remind you, we can always back up with um, facts, studies. Addictions of the internet. We're being held hostage, in my opinion, from big tech. We're being held hostage in many of our different uh, school systems, our students, our kids, our vulnerable and marginalized communities of color or poverty. That is where, that is where the predator goes, the most vulnerable to take advantage. Are those, are those kids free? There was so much good news, the pendulum is beginning to swing back, is happening. Parents are standing up. Guardians are standing up. People are beginning to recognize, we've known it, you've known it, the foster care system does not work. It is just a system of re-victimization, re-traumatization, and in many cases, human trafficking, sex trafficking of vulnerable kids. They have no nowhere to go at home. They run away from home. They're not wanted. They're kicked out of their homes. They end up on the streets. We know within 24 hours they are trafficked. They are targeted. If if they commit a crime, which many of them do because these traffickers, pimps, criminals, monsters, creeps, whatever you want to call them, get the kids to do all their dirty work. And they do have to go. Uh, You know, they get arrested hauled in, whatever you want to call it these days. And they're put in one of these homes, doesn't work, it's no good. Further re-victimization. But finally, we're beginning to have serious talks about that. Finally, across our great nation, there are different uh, human trafficking courts just starting to recognize that child or that person is a victim. They're not a criminal. Are our children really free? So much talk, so much chatter. I want everybody, please, um, I do a newsletter every couple of weeks. And I just sent one out. And, you know, it's basically titled School's Out, So Now What? And it's about getting back to what today, the 4th of July, is about. Just being with family, being with friends, taking a breather, um, talking. You know, instead of texting, call some people. Knock on your neighbor's door. Oh, you might say it sounds corny. Okay, the days of Mayberry we know are over. But I'm a great believer. Even in my big cosmopolitan New York City, people are still neighborly. I met a woman this morning in the elevator going out with her dog. And uh, she said to me, you know, happy 4th of July. I said the same to you. Have a wonderful day. People now add to be safe. Okay, but these are just four for the fourth that our country is still at its roots, at its best. Americana, that's what people want. That's what people crave. People are just busy. They can't focus on all of this. They're busy trying to pay the bills, put gas in the car. I know people who said to me, I can't afford the gas to get to the beach. Those are some of the things the warriors will will give you gas money. So there's that. But I want you to really think about it. Independence Day. Going into this election cycle, I try not to be political, but how can you not? Especially with issues of children and families and human trafficking, labor trafficking, things affecting all of us in one way or the other. Next week in Washington, July 13th, Faces of fentanyl, voices of fentanyl. Big march. It's going to be so crowded. 
I'm going to put the information in the body of the video of this if you're around the area or care to travel. We need all of you. Fentanyl, not being talked about enough. So are our children really free? I just heard another story this morning where somebody was offered an aspirin. They took it, a 12-year-old girl, and she died because it was pure fentanyl. She didn't know. Her friend didn't intend to, to kill her. In Washington, July 13th, we will have the parents will be carrying signs. You know, you can't carry anything anymore on the sticks. You just have to hold the signs like this. No sticks. Those could be used as a weapon. They carry the faces of their children, and there will be thousands of them descending upon Washington. So although we have all of this chaos surrounding uh, the current occupant at the White House, his health, his sanity, okay, I get it. It's important. Issues I'm telling you about are most important. Because as all that's going on, we have children dying, we have people dying. So we have to focus on that. We have to focus in, and this is going to sound crazy. It, this is not political here. Who will best in November serve our families and children? I'll just leave it at that. Borders. Cartels with their eyes on you and me and our precious kids. So just a few observations. We want everybody to have a fantastic day. I don't care if you're staying home, you put your feet up and read a book. We always recommend that. I don't care if you just daydream and watch TV, listen to music, go for a walk, eat something maybe you don't normally eat. I don't care what it is, relax. We gotta relax our brains. Don't focus on all the noise. Focus on our immediate surroundings. Let the uh, you know bathroom floor go. Eh, it can be dirty another day or two. You'll clean it another day. But talk. We need to get back to talking, open and honest communication with each other and our children. And I am very excited. I will leave you with this. Because tonight, for the first time in 10 years, the fireworks, the Macy's Day, fireworks, the 4th of July, which are the most spectacular, are going to be on the Hudson River, which is right outside my windows. And I am going to stand in those windows with my saint of a husband, Lionel, and I am going to be cheering and ooing and on for America and for you and our children. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be together, hug and kiss your kids. Remember, community creates change. We are the leaders. And go out each and every day and be a warrior.